Hey there, Popper fans, Bryant Cook. Today I am testing for the Popper Showcase that is in just a couple days. And this list is similar to what I've been running, but a little bit different. So when we look at the main deck, it hasn't changed at all. The sideboard, there's a lack of red cards, not flaring pain. And I'll be honest, that's pretty much a colorless card in this deck, but there's no Pyroblast and there's no Shredded Sails. Pyroblast primarily for the Fairy Space matchups is very good against Spellsetter Sprite, and the Shredded Sails is for Relic, Relic of Progenitus, that is. And the Shredded Sails is sort of a weird card. Like, it's a lot better in theory than practice, but a lot of the blue-black decks are playing two Relics just because a more recent list won with two Relics in it, which is a little bit awkward for me. The problem with it is that I board in these Shredded Sails against the blue-black deck, and I end up going under a number of creatures that I'm comfortable with. And that's sort of a problem, because I end up with like 20 Cyclers, and it's kind of low. Um, I just don't know what to do, or I end up taking out crucial spells like Mystical Teachings or Ploy, and I just don't like that. So I don't really want to play Shredded Sails. And I've come to the conclusion that Duress is just going to have to do. And... It can hit Relic, which is something that I like. It doesn't hit Spell Stutter, which is a little bit of an issue. But Dress does hit Counter Spell, Removal Spells, Relics. It hits some decent stuff. I don't, I think it's like a five in the matchup. It's not amazing, but it's like okay enough. Uh, and then you have Snuff Out, which is a brand new card in this deck. Probably one of the most expensive cards for the format. And we're playing it because now we have Ash Barons to search up our swamps. And stuff that's really interesting because one, it can kill a ninja of the deep hours that's getting in to bury you on card advantage. Because, like, let's be honest, if they're on the play and they lead on ninja, you're probably not coming back. And Snuff Out just nips that right in the butt. And on top of that, Snuff Out can be used as a free counter spell. And what I mean by that is if they have no other fairies in play, they cast spell setter sprite. With its counter spell trigger on the stack, you snuff out the fairy. And now when the U trigger resolves, they will have no fairies in play. It doesn't counter anything. So Snuff Out can, you know, save you that way. Um, it's pretty interesting. I don't know if it's amazing. We'll find out in the video today. But it's also really good against some of the larger creature decks in the format. You get to board it in in those matchups. I just want to try it out. Um, honestly, I'm hoping it's not good because then I don't have to buy Japanese foils that are insanely expensive. But... We'll see how it is. I want it to be good because I like winning and playing good cards often helps you win. That's the idea. That's the deck list. No red. I mean, technically there's red in the deck, but it's really just a Demir deck today. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm always open to thoughts, suggestions, feedback, etc. I do appreciate what you think. So leave a comment down below. And if at all today during this video, if you see me, you know, just like jamming with stingers, which you will, I promise it's going to happen. Uh, there's a new Stinger emote. Thank you to all of our new members here on this channel. And I'm going to take a second now and thank these new members. Aaron Ramsey, Nick Walker, Jordan Boner, Manu Sepkeli, Brad V, Brosel, Ariston, Always Sleepy, Eric St. Marie, Lynn Chalice, Jordani Pelagno, Brandon Washborough, and Javi Hernandez. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All of you joining the channel as members have really helped support me and i truly do appreciate your support thank you and that is unlocked the drana stinger emote which is our the card how we win with this deck drana stingers are one condition is the pauper grape shot you don't need anything else the card's amazing so there you go i'm gonna spam it in the comment section all of you members i recommend doing the same and if you're not a member it is the join button next to the subscribe button you know just letting you know and Today is the 4th as I record this. On the 15th, I am giving away two of the original mini token packs that you can't buy off the site anymore. They, they're, they don't, they're not on there. They don't exist. So I'm giving away two of the original mini token pack. And I'm giving them away to people that are members of the channel. So pretty good odds right now. We don't even have 50 members. Right now it's at like 43, 44, somewhere in there. I'm giving away two. So we have decent odds. As long as you're a member, you get entered to win. I'm drawing two different people. So good luck. I hope it's you. You watching. Yes, you. I hope you win it. But on top of that, I just uploaded a pioneer deck list to the member section of the Discord. And you get access to that Discord with any membership tier. So as long as you join for the 
free giveaway, you also get access to my secret Pioneer deck list. I think I've solved the Winona matchup. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. The deck list is very good. It's been performing well. So make sure you connect your Discord to the YouTube, um, you know, through Discord or whatever. The YouTube, I sound so old. But do it. Uh, you get access to our members Discord. It's definitely worth it. And yeah. If you're looking to support us in any other way, like, comment, subscribe, free and easy. I promise those things really do help us that it gets this video into the YouTube algorithm. And why wouldn't you want to do that? You love Cycle Storm almost as much as I do. I definitely like it more, but you're a close second. So definitely do that. Like, comment, subscribe, spam that stinger. And if you've already done those things, you can go directly to the slash donation decks. Submit your combo deck to be featured here on this channel. I keep on receiving comments like, Bryant, why don't you play two land spy or one land spy and pauper? I'd like to see that video. I'll be honest. I don't really want to play that deck, but if you submit it as a donation deck, I will play it. So I think the deck's not very good. If one of you wants to prove me wrong and forces me to play it, I'll give it a shot. The epicsarm.com slash donation decks. That's where you go if you want to see your combo brew on this channel. The epicsarm.com slash shop where you can see a bunch of card singles as well as Sweet Sweet Storm merchandise, including our brand new mini token pack. This is not the token pack that I'm giving away. This is the new one. You get 64 double-sided tokens for $13. Storm counters, mana counters, monk tokens, goblin tokens, squirrel tokens, ave tokens, relay exile indicator, a bunch of stuff. Go check it out at theepicsorum.com slash shop. That is my intro. I hope you liked it. I think we're going to crush today. I actually really like this deck list. I hope we crush today. I'll see you in match number one. Match number one, and we're on the draw. We're going to keep this hand. It's pretty good. It has literally everything we could want in an opening hand. I would keep this hand against literally anything. Uh, and it looks like we're facing Bogles. Okay. Architect, we're just going to play land and pass here. I'm not even sure if I'm going to cycle this Ash Barons. I might just play it in cycle. Keep our speed our up, our velocity. Okay. It shows white. Yep, white. Okay, is this ethereal armor? No, they're passing. Okay, so I'll gladly take two here. Cycle the architect of will. Okay, and you want to cycle one of the ones that cost colored mana just because we're going to play the Ash Barons here. And you can't cycle uh, Horror of the Broken Lands off that. I'm just going to be lazy and cycle in my main phase and pass the turn. All right, our opponent has three mana here. Could be Ancestral Mask, which would be bad for me. Armadillo Cloak, so I'm going to fall to 14. Hmm. Cycle Dino. I'm going to actually play the Baron more. Pass the turn, hope I don't die. The armadillo cloak would be plus eight. That would put me to two. Or armadillo cloak, I meant ancestral mask. I, I said the wrong card. Forgive me. Uh, is it each other? It is each other, okay. I was wondering why my math didn't align there. I was like, they have four enchantments. But I guess it's each other. I didn't realize that. And 34 is a very healthy life total against Cycle Storm, but I think we can deal 34. All right, teachings. Go to two and cycle this three wraith. Dark Virtual. Let's get some more creatures in the graveyard for this Songs of the Damned. Okay, Dark Virtual. Cycle Stinger. Can't make use of that, unfortunately. Um. Play the Celebrant. Wish I had one more life. Because then I could teachings for the uh, ploy and then cycle the Street Wraith. I'm going to go to one. Let's teachings. I just want to get my storm count up. Go get another songs. 20 mana is quite a bit. Storm eight. Okay, turning our creatures. Might as well return the other street wreath, even though I can't cycle it. We only have one song left in the deck. 
and maybe I can play Lotus Petal and deploy it at some point, and then that Street Wraith becomes valuable again. Okay. I guess I also have the island available as something I can cycle or cycle for or draw into. Other teachings. All right, cycle this healer. Okay. I already feel like I'm tight on mana just because I burned three songs. All right, well, there's a blue source. So let's see if I can find Loy or another blue source. Another Street Wraith. Dark attack, keep going. Cycle this stinger, getting low on cyclers. That was actually pretty good. Um, I think I'm just gonna Tularian ones here. Draw six. Another reaping the graves, okay. 22 cards. I really don't want a reaping the graves yet. I'm gonna go get the island. Come on, deck. Give me the songs. I guess I could go trigger for the songs, but it's not going to be that effective. Hmm. I don't know if I have much of a choice here. 15 mana should be pretty good, though. Right? Start from the top. 16. So this should return everything because the songs made 15. So I'm not going to need to be picky. Okay. Return everything. And now we just really want to find the ploy so that way I can use Blood Celebrant to play all four stingers. Just make this very easy. Okay, cycle of horror. All right, 17 cards left in deck. There's a petal, so I can play out a stinger. Oh, actually, uh, I can play out healer. Okay. We have a game plan now. Play Stinger. Cycle a Dino. I feel like I might run out of mana here, but... There's Ploy, so I can gain a bunch of life. Um, Let's play another Stinger first. I can get a couple more, more Cycles then. Okay, cycle Dino. Cycle Healer. Right, I'm allowed to cycle Street Wraith here. That puts me to one. I go up to two. I like the pedal. Okay, cycle Architect of Will. Reaping. It doesn't do me a whole lot of good right now. Um, I can cycle Street Wraith again. Cycle Dino, I guess. Would have loved to have drawn like a Cabal Ritual or something here. I don't even know if there's a Cabal Ritual left. There we go. Okay. Myth. Play Stinger. Cycle Healer. Right, and then we can add a blue here. And this should gain enough life to keep me alive. The problem is that this thing's going to gain bunch of life next turn okay and i can just discard i don't know um part of me wonders if i should keep the ash barons i just don't know all right five cards left in my deck maybe i could get lucky and spike a dark ritual here i, I don't even think there's a dark ritual left but Okay, so this puts me to three cards. Another reaping. All right, I'm just going to move to clean up. Don't think I need double reaping the graves. All right, so this game really comes down to whatever they have here. Uh, I think that actually stacks the way that Armadillo Cloak is worded, so they should gain 28 here, if I remember correctly. Yep. I don't think we can win now. That is brutal. Alright, so let's do the easy thing first. Let's just attack them for 9. Put them to 31. Ball Ritual. 
the bar ritual. Let's turn off auto yields so I don't deck myself on accident cycle. Auto yield to this. Auto yield here. Oh. Oh, well, why didn't I play Stinger? That was actually kind of dumb. I just lost out on one point of damage. Hopefully it doesn't matter. I think I want to play this. Alright, so now we're drawing the last card in our deck. Which I hope is like a ritual. Not. Nah. Okay. Um, I think that's actually fine. So what I can do here is I can reap in the graves back all four street rates. Okay. And then street rates should win the game. Yeah, this is going to be easy, actually. I just need to figure it out. So. All right. They're going to go to 12. Reap in the graves for four, and I just get back four street rates. Back this other street wraith. Street Wraith, Street Wraith. Okay, cycle. Cycle. This was a pretty cool game. Cycle. And that's game number one versus Bogles. That was a sweet one. I really like that. So we don't get to board in our brand new snuff out tech here, but Darkness is pretty good in this matchup, so I'm going to side that in. And probably just swap them with Architect of Will. Seems fine by me. The whole point of Darkness is just to slow the game down a little bit. Um, in theory, you could board out like Tularian Winds and Ploy to keep your creature count higher. But I think with more Darkness, you're allowed to just like slow the game down, cantrip into more creatures. And then allow your powerful effects like Tularian Winds and Ploy to do their job. That's the idea anyway. Okay, uh, I'm definitely going to try this, but I prefer if this Ash Burns was a Swamp, just because of the horror. That said, I'm not going to ship Double Street Wraith Hands uh, with Songs of the Damned and Reaping the Graves. Another Ash Baron, so that makes this hand a little bit better. Cycle the Street Wraiths, and then another one. We can just play this Ash Barons, go get a Swamp. Not a bad turn one for us. A ledge walker, sure. Another reaping the graves, okay. So we have three creatures in the graveyard. We're about to have a fourth with the horror. I think we want to head another creature off the horror of the broken lands here. That's a cloak. Just gonna be lazy and cycle this now. Okay, I don't love the ash burns, but it does get us a blue source. All right, so we're going to fall to 11. They're at 23. And we probably want to go for it here just because these street rates become less valuable if we sit here and wait. But I love the Stinger draw. Also love Songs of the Damned. We're going to burn one Songs here and leave uh, the other one in hand so that way we can get a little bit more equity out of it. And now reaping all back, or all five creatures back. Target the Stinger. Click, click, click. All right, Street Wreath, Street Wreath, Street Wreath, or, and you want to do it in that order so you can always cycle Street Wreaths first to keep your creatures uh, high in the graveyard. Cycle. Let's return this other one just in case we get a string of creatures here. Cycle the healer. Cycle. Love the Dark Ritual draw. Cycle. Love you too, ploy. All right, and then cycle this stinger. More ritual is a good draw. Cycle that. Cycle or cast that. Cycle this. Cycle stinger. I think we're probably going to get this one. All right, cycle stinger. Play petal. Cycle vantasaur. Why not? Let's cycle the baron more too. Go down to thirty-one. Cycle the Vantasaur. I can just blow a petal here to cast the songs, just so I can eke out a little bit of extra mana. I'm trying to figure out if I want to cycle this or not. I don't think I do. Just because I'm a little bit tight on mana. Okay. So the the 
nice thing here is that we are going to get back Triple Street Wraith. Hopefully hit another songs. Street Wraith. Street Wraith. Street Wraith. No, let's go back and get the others. Perfect. We got back every creature. Now let's cycle into some mana. Street Wraith number four. I love Ploy. It made this deck a lot better in my opinion. Because now your Street Wraiths get to do extra cycling and it's just so beautiful. It's a game changer in my opinion. So I go healer. Teaching. So that can go get songs. Uh, we're going to try to, you know, get a few more cycles in before we do that. Um, so this is five mana. So if I cycle this, I have six right now. So I can cycle once more. Okay, now I don't have to. I can keep on going. 19 cards left. Okay. Just keep cycling. 15 cards left. Still two songs in the deck, so we're going to do just fine here. Another Darkness. Okay. Galarian wins. I don't think I'm going to need you this game, but I do appreciate you. All right, Blood Celebrant. Make a blue. Test this teachings. Let's go get songs. I guess it's the last songs. I didn't realize that. Cycle this Baron more because I can. Cycle. Okay. You know what? Why not? Let's gain a bunch of life here. Let's uh, make a blue mana and, you know, jumpstart this uh, Diada's ploy. Discard a swamp all this life we have it's great oh am i out of mana guess i am let's cast the songs whoops black mana songs now we make a red okay and now reaping the graves back the whole family look at all these street race that are coming home now we just randomly click okay so we're not going to do any cycle tricks anymore because we're at the bottom of our deck. You don't need to do those tricks anymore. And now what we're going to do is just cast four stingers and start blasting. Danny DeVito memes. So anyway, and then I started blasting. Okay. Love my sting as... Where's my last one? It must be in the deck. All right, cycle. There it is. All right. You get in play where you belong. Okay, cycle Street Wraith. Four cards left. Three cards left. It's always important to not deck out. Just throwing that out there. Cycle Horror. All right, and they should die before I draw a card here. Well, look at that. We won match number one. How crazy is that? We didn't get to use Snuff Out. We didn't lose the Relic. Perfect life. Match number two coming right up. All right. Match number two. We're on the play. I think that this is a keep. Yeah, we have two Cyclers. Two chances at the Horror. I can also like turn this hand into a Mulligan and get rid of the Pedal if I really want a Black Source for this. Hmm. I think I'm just going to play it in Cycle Stinger. Okay, another horror. A little bit awkward. Not the end of the world, though. What are we facing? That's the real question. Forest. I like that. Bogles again? All right, we hit the Black Source. Perfect world. All right. Cycle this horror. Everything's uh, turning up well for us. Slippery Bogle, what a beast. All right. Looks like they're stuck on one land right now, too. Cycle the healer. Wow. We're about to uh, do some damage. Cycle. Look at these draws. I couldn't make these draws any better. And another Bogle. You got it. 
I hope the challenge on Saturday's all bogles. I'll be doing very, very well if that's the case. Okay. So let's play Cabal Ritual. I'm going to stack this a little bit in a weird fashion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast songs. I'm going to cast songs. I'm going to cast Hilarion Winds. And now what I'm going to do is cast Reaping the Graves. And basically what this is going to do is I get a couple extra cycles at hitting cards I want. And I'll basically uh, just like maximize these songs. So instead of being sixes, they'll they might end up being like seven or eights. Uh, that's the idea. All right, so I'm gonna cycle the street wraith here. Uh, cycle the horror. Cycle street wraith. Uh, I'm gonna let this go. Okay, before that resolves, I'm gonna cycle out an architect so that way they make ten mana. Okay, so the first one resolves. I'm going to keep that one on the stack. Cycle Healer. Cycle Architect. Vantasaur. Dark Red's not bad. Vantasaur. Just trying to make the most out of our spells. That's pretty much all we're doing here. Okay. And unfortunately, we have to let the songs resolve. Lotus Petal. Cast a Blood Celebrant. Am I allowed to play you? I am allowed to play you. Beautiful. All right, let's uh, bring all the friends home. We can just start winning the game. Okay. So this shouldn't be too bad now. We just need to play out our Stinger, start shooting. Okay, red mana. Red mana. And I love Blood Celebrant. It's so good. Stinger. Okay. And our opponent concedes. Sweet. That's game number one. I think we're just going to board the same we did this last round. Bring in the darkness. Board out Architects of Will. And uh, call it a day. Not really getting good use out of these snuff outs that I wanted to try, but I'll take match wins. I love match wins, so uh, let's do it. I think this hand is technically a keep. It's pretty similar to what we kept in uh, game number one, where you just want to draw a land for the Ash Barons. You have two colorless cyclers. Mystical teachings can theoretically go get um, songs at some point. Another Ash Barons. Okay, so that worked out reasonably. Cycle the Vantasaur. Okay. So next turn, I think we're going to cycle Ash Barons and then get Swamp and cycle Horror. They keep another one lander? Jeez. Okay, I don't mind the island draw. Kind of a slow start for them. Cycle Horror. Ethereal Armor. Get in there for two. I'll fall to 18. Yeah, this is just a painfully slow draw for them. All right, Cycle Healer. Cycle Stinger. Cycle the Horror. This turn three, I've played three lands. Okay. Next turn might be our go time. Forest. Even if this is like Rancor and Armor, we're not dead here. Sprawl. Okay. Rancor. Into Armor? Yep, that's only 11. Okay. Time to party. We have six cards in our graveyard. So we can cast Dark Ritual into Cabal Ritual. Cycle the Street Wraith down to five life. Cycle the Healer. Boy. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that quite yet. Cycle the Baron Moore. Celebrant. Let's cast the play. I might end up discarding this Celebrant so that way, uh, the songs makes more mana, and then I can just bring it back. Mm. I'll discard the darkness, I guess. Discard the street wreath. Okay. So if I flashback the ploy, I go down to five mana, which is enough to teachings again. I think I'm going to do that. Let's jumpstart the ploy. Discard this darkness. Perfect. 
Okay, I love hitting the other songs. That was great. I don't think I want to teachings yet. Instead, I'm just going to Reaping the Graves. Street Wraith. Street Wraith. Then the rest don't really matter which order. Okay, let's just make the most of uh, this teachings into the next songs. Or it was good. Cycle. Yeah, I think we probably have this one at this point. Now we just have to execute. Perfect. Okay. Love drawing songs. So after this songs, we should have one left in our dock. Walrit. Okay, and Vantasaur. 21 cards. Let's songs. I'm gonna make a blue. Let's teachings, go get the last songs, and then just uh, wipe our opponent's face off the floor. Songs. And Reaping the Graves. From 16. So this is gonna bring back everything. It's like so much fun to play. You probably can't tell because I don't know if I've smiled yet this video, but I am having a blast. <laughs> All right. Honestly, like the entire time that I'm like sitting here recording this, I'm thinking about how cold my hands are and how I probably need to turn on the heat in the house already. All right. Play Stinger. Play Stinger. I guess I have this pedal. I should just burn it. Play another Stinger. Our opponent's had enough. We're 2 0. Maybe we'll face Bogles three more times. What are the odds? 100%? 102%? Find out in match number three. Do we think the user with the name Terminus is on Bogles? I'm going to guess not, but I could always be wrong. Uh, this hand seems fine. We're lacking rituals, but all in all, this hand's got some potential. Uh, we do have access to our blue source for mystical teachings, so that can always go and get songs. We're going to cycle on their end step. Close to Bogles, Mono White. Essentially the same deck in my opinion. And uh, the songs is a pretty good draw there. Let's cycle this, go get our island. So sometimes this deck plays main deck Mana Tithe. And that can be kind of uh, good against us. And uh, the Death Blade is just getting in there. Although the name Terminus, white cards do make sense. I will give them that. All right, let's cycle the Healer. Cycle Horror. No land. All right, I wanted a land there. All right, four cards in hand for the opponent. It looks like they're getting in for four. Okay, still alive for now. Three cards in their hand. Cycle Stinger. Cycle Horror. And I don't want to cycle Street Wraith. Uh, I just don't want to risk dying, so I'm just going to discard and pass. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about Mana Tithe. So, like... In my head, I'm already thinking about if I want two songs before I Cabal Ritual. This is five, putting me... What is their hand? Okay, Petal is a good draw. Let's cycle the Street Wraith. The Blood Celebrant. All right, am I allowed to resolve Cabal Ritual? Yes, apparently. That, that looked like an F6. Okay, what about another Cabal Ritual? Blood Celebrant. Songs. I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. Um, teachings. Let's go get another songs. I think I can probably just win here. That's why I'm doing it like this. I'm just going to play two stingers and start blasting. All right, so this is eight. But everything but three wraith is coming back here. And our opponent just conceded. <laughs> Dang it. All right, so snuff out. This is a matchup for Snuff Out. Um, it's also a matchup for Darkness. And now that we have Snuff Out, I can't help but wonder if maybe I can shave a Darkness from the board. 
that might actually be a reasonable change moving forward. Although I guess Darkness and Bogles... Hmm. We'll see. All right, so... Board out the Architects. Two more. Hmm. Maybe I only board in two Darkness. Maybe that's the secret here. And then maybe board out of Teachings, because, like, it's a little bit clunky against, like, the super fast aggro deck. Let's try this out. Okay, this looks like a pretty good hand to me. We also have Swamp for Snuff Out. Island into Deathblade Elite. Okay, uh, I'm just going to be lazy and cycle straight now. Cycle the healer. They're leveling up already. 4-4, four, four, getting in there. Hmm. I think I might want to burn a Dark Ritual this turn. Just to get some cycles in. Reaping the Graves is pretty good. Cycle. Cycle. So I could try to go for it right now. Or I can just pass. Um, feels a little risky going for it. I have two cards. I think I should just wait and not. Like, why do I need to go for a turn two? Like, they're not going to kill me from 14 life. Three cards in hand. Uh, what was that? Umbra. So now Snuff Out doesn't kill their creature. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, too funny. All right. Ball Ritual. I wonder if I should snuff out anyway for Storm. That way I can get back all five without... Yeah, it's probably just like the best thing to do here. Okay, and now let's Reaping the Graves. Let's return all five creatures. Okay, and I, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to play a healer here to try to like buy some time. It also makes Cycling Street Wreaths better. Right. Cycle Horror. Ooh, that means I can play another healer here. Okay, Cycle Street Wreath. Cycle Wreath. Come on, hit songs. I'll still take a songs. Dark Ritual. Okay. So... That means I can either ploy and gain a bunch of life, or I can reaping the graves back my entire graveyard. I think that's what I want to do. And it's only five. Um, should I just ploy? The problem I have with ploying, this thing has provoke. So they're just going to kill a bunch of my creatures. Um, yeah, I like... I guess I get to see the same number of cards off both. Yeah, let's just do it. I'm not reaping the graves. I was thinking like, well, I guess if I find the other snuff out, which one's better? But it doesn't really matter. And our opponent just conceded for some reason. It seems a little preemptive. It's only a draw five. Um, it's not going to let me draw. Okay, I wanted to see what my my five cards would have been, but it's just not letting me. Instead, it's just skipping turn, so it says I now want on turn eight. Magic Online Quality Program. We're three, you know, over essentially three different Bogle decks. This deck is just mono white Bogles. Don't let anyone tell you anything else. But round number four is coming up. Match four, and once again, we're on the play. This seems fine. I kind of wish that I had another Cycler over the Blood Celebrant, but I'm not going to complain. Like, this hand's reasonable. Evolving Wilds. Okay, so not Bogles. Let's Cycle the Healer. Hit land 2, maybe? Nope. Okay. Um, I guess, like, maybe... I, I could have played out the Petal, because if they hold up Open Spell Stutter here and hit my Petal, I'm going to feel like a dummy. Looks like they're tapping mana. Okay, so I'm not going to get spell stuttered on my pedal. That's a win. 
if you're a super greedy person, you could just like ritual out your horror of the broken lands. But I don't recommend it. Like losing the game to a removal spell when you don't need to uh isn't the best idea. Alright, so let's play out the pedal. And try to just hit a land. Not a land. Let's pass. And they're just gonna pass back, so if that's the case. I'm fine playing this game. And we finally hit land number two. Ash Barons. So we did get a matchup that... This is like the matchup that I wanted to test Snuff out in. So we got what we wanted. But I would also like to 2-0 this matchup like we did the first three. A little bit greedy, I'm aware. But I believe in us. Alright, so... Let's cycle Stinger. Like a Vantasaur. Yeah, well, let's just play out the land. All right. And we have found our window. All they could have open right now is the spell, so we're just gonna jam. Peanut butter and jam. Cycle. 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 Now it's our turn. Double songs, I'm in. Cycle. Okay. Dark Rit. Rit. Cycle the Stinger. Cabal Ritual? Probably if they have Dispel, they go after the Cabal Rit. Yes. Just like I wanted. Just like I wanted. And now we just get a super easy kill here. From eight. Stinger. Stinger. Street Wraith. Street Wraith. Dino. Dino. Killer. Okay, we're going to play a few Stingers here. If they have Snuff out, they can kill one, but I have three, so they're going to get blasted. It's just going to happen. They don't really have a choice. Okay. Blood Celebrant showing off its power here. You know, one power, because that's what it has. Right? Another songs, it's beautiful. Click on the healer. Okay, and we've got it. And our opponent agrees, and we've gotten game number one. Woot woot. So, like I said in the intro, we don't have Relic. Or we don't have hate for Alec. There's no um, shredded sails. Instead, we're just looking to duress a possible relic if they have it. Uh, and if not, hit a counter spell. But this is what we're working with. We have these six cards. So I like taking out Chalarian Winds, the three Architect of Will. And I'm a little torn on if you want ploy or not. I was boarding out ploy. Um, but now I'm like, do you want to keep it in because you're boarding in snuff outs? I don't know. I really don't. Um, I am okay with like boarding out a pedal. This isn't a speed matchup anymore, but now you're at 61. You could alternatively like leave one ploy and take out a teachings and do this, which I might like a little bit more. Just because like teachings is such a like an amazing dispel target. <laughs> uh, not that you want to think about your cards that way, but it's kind of true. This seems fine. I'll keep it. I do like triple land here. Oh no, it's only double land. I looked at the Vantasaur and I saw another Ash Barons initially. Okay, so Island go. Baron Moor go. So the question is, do you get an Island for the Dispel or do you get Swamp so that you can cycle Horror immediately and then have Swamp for Snuff out? And I think it's probably the Swamp here because you have Petal for Dispel. It's an interesting uh, brainstorm here. Do they have the Fetch Land already? Or is it a Desperation for Land 2? Okay, they just have it. And Fairies here to Bottom 2. Okay. Draw. Let's go get Swamp. Play Petal. I'm just going to pass the turn here. Don't want to see Ninja. And because they have Fairy Seer, if they had um, 
spell stutter, you can't use snuff out as a counter spell because they would still have one fairy in play with the fairy seer, which is why some people run suffocating fumes. But I don't think fumes is actually that good against this deck, if I'm being honest. It's much better against like mono blue, but that version is not as popular. Okay, so we do have a window to try to win here if we wanted it. I just don't think our hand is anywhere even close to trying to win. All right, let's cycle like Vantasaur. What did they take off? Did they just brick on the auger? I think they did. Okay, I'm just gonna play pedal and pass. We're not we're not ready to win. So they brick down the auger, like uh, any everything that's ever happened to me when I play that card. So they're getting in. We're gonna fall to seventeen. Are you gonna ninja? Looks like they're thinking about ninjing. They did not. Ooh. So that's brutal. We're gonna have to figure out how to beat that now. I can try to just play horror and attack a bunch. All right, songs. Am I allowed to have it? We have horror backed by a dispel. I'm gonna play the Baron more. I don't like being in this spot. Sort of interesting uh, that they didn't respond to the horror at all. All right, so they must not have an answer if they didn't just kill my horror. Yeah, okay, well that's annoying. Okay, fairies here, digging for that removal spell. Go on the bottom with the fairy. Honestly, the Blood Celebrant's not that bad here. Stinger? Hmm. Yeah. It kind of stinks that I did that, because, like... I guess, like, the in the grand scheme of things, like, cycling for two damage doesn't matter a whole lot when they're at 20. Remove the songs. I'm gonna chump block. Take three, putting me to 11. They're currently winning the race. Yikes. All right. Not a great time for this duress. Um, yeah, I'm just like kind of screwed here. What are you holding? And they have the death toucher. Yeah, they're so far ahead. I'm going to concede and go to game three. All right, so this one didn't work out for us. Uh, so we've lost our first game in the league. It's not going to be a perfect league, but let's just focus on getting the rest of them. All right, game three. Sure. All right, they've chosen to keep seven. So I think I'm just going to cycle Ash Barons. Sure. Once again, the fairy is awkward with the snuff out, but we'll make do. Go on the bottom. Cycle. I already have a swamp, so I'm going to go get the island. In case we draw a dispel or the one of ploy. I also can't help but wonder if, like, would it be good if I just, like, played out the celebrant and turned two slam stinger? <laughs> um, I don't hate the idea. Maybe cycle the Vantasaur on their own step. Okay, so we're going to take one here, going to 19. I'm just going to cycle the Dino. Okay, draw. Red. Stinger. Cycle the Street Wreath, try to hit land three. Okay. Didn't, but ploy's fine-ish. Cycling Ash Barons. No removal spell, no removal spell, no removal spell. And they're getting in again. If they try to ninja here, we do have the snuff out. There's ninja, and here's the snuff out. No extra cards for you. Get out of here. Okay. Get in for three, knocking them down to 15. Cycle this. I want to keep the black mana open for now in case they have like dark red. I like the idea of casting this duress. I don't even know if I care about duress right now. Um, I guess I do, just because the rest of these don't really matter that much. Maybe I should have taken the preordain, actually. 
I guess Pyridine and Fairy Seer are similar. No, I think I made the right call. I like taking the dress here. All right, Pyridine. Okay, one on top, one on the bottom. Makes me a little uneasy that they kept the card. So they kept Brainstorm. I think. And then they can use fairies here at the bottom too. All right. I still have one open mana, which could be a dispel from the bottom and then another pure pain. We technically get another window here, even though I don't think we can use it that well. We're one card short of threshold, which kind of stinks. All right, let's see if I can hit a land here or a dark ritual. Okay, cycle. Hmm, wrong kind of land. I would have loved to Cabal Ritual into this stuff. Okay, right, let's cycle this. That all doesn't really matter here. I don't know if I want to play out the Baron more or not. And is Blood Celebrant worth attacking? Like, is the one damage, like, if they block with fairies here, is that better for me? I don't think it is. Yeah, I'm going to play the Baron more, I think. The problem is that they're just going to hold open Spell Setter, so I don't think this Cabal Ritual is ever resolving. And I'm going to play the Baron more. Screw it. Okay. Oof. That hurts. And now we know that they have Triple Counter open. All right. That was a rough uh, sequence of cards. Okay. Just trying to think about this. If I play Cabal Ritual in the counter spell, I can play Stinger, uh, which might get me back into the game. I don't know. And if they. I guess they have the counter spell, which is kind of a problem. We know all three cards in their hand. Interesting. So I can actually play the horror now. I think that's just the plan. And am I supposed to get in there with chip damage? I think so. Let's get in. If they want to block, that's one less blocker for horror. Okay. Land. Ornament. That's kind of, that's a card I don't usually see out of this deck. We know all three cards in their hand. Get in there. They have to start chump blocking with uh, the sprites. No chump block. Okay, cycle. That's six. If I had two cyclers, it's just game. There's one. This is going to knock them down to one life. All right. So they're going to one. They should probably play a sprite here. Yeah. So that gives them drawing a card with the ornament on my turn. This. They're just going to main phase it. Okay. Ash Barons. They technically have one more swamp. Get in there. I think I'm just going to pass. Drawing another card. Sure. We have one Stinger left in our deck. So I'm going to ploy on their end step because they're not allowed to use Counterspell or else they're dead. Like, they have to uh, play Spell Stutter as a Flash Blocker. So this seems kind of free. And uh, that was very good. So let's get rid of the Ash Barons. Okay. Okay, so that happens. So the question is, how do I handle this now? Um... I have two Lotus Petals left in the deck. I think I might honestly just want to Cabal Ritual into another Horror. So I think I'm going to cycle this. See what I draw. That was the last Stinger. Into another Horror. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just going to play another Horror. And just like make them double Chump Block every turn. Just try to wear them out. I probably should have left open... Uh, the Swamps, I could theoretically cycle this if they had a 4 damage removal spell, but they don't. And that is match. We are 4-0, playing for 5-0. We just beat arguably one of the best decks in the format. 
and the matchup that we added the snuff out for. And in my opinion, the snuff out came up where it was supposed to, which is stopping Ninja. We didn't get to use that counter spell, spell setter sprite, but it still worked as intended. Match number five coming up for the trophy. Stick around. For the trophy, let's get it. Match number five and we're on the play again. I'd have to go back and rewatch, but I think that might be all five matches. Uh, and this hand is obviously great, so we're gonna keep. Okay. And I'm not gonna play the Baron more because we could end up cycling it. Let's see what our opponent's playing. All right, elves, vogels, mono green. Okay. That's certainly something uh, you're allowed to play. I like my mono green matchup. So how we lose this, because let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is not a guaranteed win by any means. How we lose this, we end up being too slow. That is one way that we could easily lose. Another way we could lose is if we don't find this card. So now at this point, I'm feeling very confident. We have songs, we have Reaping the Graves, we have a couple cyclers, everything is going well. So at this point, I want to cycle Horror of the Broken Lands, hit a third land. Then the next Horror, I want to hit double creature. Those are the best things that can happen to us on turn three. And this is some sort of creature. Burning tree, okay. Yikes, that's a start. So six power. So next 13 next turn. All right. Uh, Blood Celebrant, not really the best here. Okay, we're just going to pass, and then next turn is our go turn. If they kill me from 19, tip of the cap. All right, three mana into Elephant Guide. Love to see it. So they're going to go up to 23. We took a bunch of damage. Another Songs is a beautiful draw. I'm not going to pretend that that wasn't amazing. Let's cycle this healer. All right, I would have liked another creature there, if I'm being honest. That's a little bit of a bummer. Um, I'm going to remove a land from the deck. Let's go get that island. Okay, so there's five. That's four. I'm going to hang on to the Songs for now. And uh, just bring back the five. Okay, because I want to try to get a little bit more out of that songs if I can help it. All right, let's cycle Architect. Healer. All right, Ash Baron's not great. Cycle Horror. Stinger. Okay, uh, I'm going to cycle this. So if I cast the Cabal Ritual here, I can try to get a little bit more out of our um, draws without burning this, because we only have two draws left to hit another uh, Reaping the Graves. But it shuts me off of blue. So it's very risky. Because if I hit like a Teachings or something, or even the Ploy, I could stay alive. All right, I'm gonna play to win. And that means casting the songs and giving myself the the most outs here. You can play more conservatively and cast the Cabal Ritual, but it, it gives you less outs to win, and I don't like that. There we go. All right, so let's draw the healer. Come on, deck. Go. Come on, give me another songs. Mm. So that was actually pretty bad. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I could. Hmm. They might have me here. Unfortunate. So I can cycle the Baron more trying to spike another ritual. Because right now, if I cast Cabal Ritual into Mystical Teachings, I only have two mana floating, and that doesn't do anything. Um. I think I'm supposed to just cycle the Baron more. Hmm. Okay, let's cycle Stinger. So I can go get songs. Sorry, I have to read how many creatures I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right, so I think I have a plan here. All right, so Mystical Teachings, let's go get a Songs. 
11 mana, flashback teachings. Go get Reaping the Graves. I already have the right number Storm. Okay, so do I have any Street Wraiths in here? No Street Wraiths. The last one doesn't matter. Okay, so we get to return all of these now. Yeah, and maybe I should have cycled the first one. That was actually kind of dumb, because if I cycled the first one and hit songs, I could keep going. So now I'm going to cycle and hit songs and feel like a dummy. Why, why did I know that was going to happen? Look at that. Songs of the Damned right there. I'm just throwing away my 5-0. Uh, Playblood Celebrant, pass and discard. Discard one Ash Baron, so let's get rid of some creatures. How did I know that was going to happen? It's like, the second I misplay, I get punished. Um... So they have nine on board right now, which means if they have another pump spell, I'm dead. Uh, and that'll do. So I am dead. <sighs> I I really got punished for that misplay. Um, that's such a bummer. Look at that. I just threw that away. That that would have been a win. <sighs> Crap. Okay. Let's not dwell on it. Let's just bring the darkness. Uh, I don't actually like snuff out here just because all their creatures are pretty small. So my recommendation would be just darkness for architects. I just got to play tight to get these next two. On the play. Sure. Looks like for cyborg cards, weather the storm is something that we have to consider. Um... That's pretty much it. Maybe if we want to play around three of their gut shots. Cycle Street Wraith. If we hit a land, I'm going to cycle the Ash Barons. Uh, another Baron War is a little awkward, but we'll make do. Baron Ranger, okay. Cycle this, and I'm going to get a Swamp so I can cycle the Baron War. This hand, uh, I'm not feeling too confident about this one. Yep, this is awkward. So darkness not being a creature is a little weird here. Because we only have one creature, we have all this mana. Uh, even if we draw Reaping the Graves, we can't use it effectively. I feel like I might have thrown away that 5-0 by punting game one. Okay. Alright, let's go. Cycle. All right, so we're starting to get back into it. So they're going to play the, uh, I forget what it's called, but it makes your creature bigger or something to sacrifice this turn. Yep, there it is. Anger of the Howl? Hunger of the Howl? Okay, so we're taking nine. So Darkness is, uh, needs to keep us alive. Cycle. Play out the pedal so I don't have to discard. But uh, we're at the point where Darkness buys us a little bit of time here. But this ploy has to hit in order for us to stay alive. And I guess it could hit Teachings, I just don't want it to. Well, I mean, I would take a Teachings, but like, it's awkward because you have to flash back the back half. Okay, so we're taking zero. Sure. Draw. All right, so it's really all on this play right now. Ball ritual. And ploy. So I get another chance. <laughs> all right, dark ritual's got to go. All right. Ball ritual. On ploy, please be good. And jumpstart ploy again, discarding dark ritual. That's the match. I played poorly one time, and uh, that was enough to not get the 5-0. So I'm going to go ahead and shame concede here. And you know what? I learned something right now. It's to play a little bit slower and always play correctly. Don't just assume you're not going to hit it, because that's what I did. I was like, well, I'm not going to hit the songs anyway. And then I was like, well, it's technically correct that I should have. I would have hit it. The odds weren't in my favor, but it, it did hit. 
And this is the saddest I've ever been over a 4 1. <laughs> uh, just because it's my own fault. <sighs> Feels bad. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. I think maybe blue black is just the way. I don't know if I actually missed uh, the red splash. Granted, we only had one matchup where it was relevant, but let me know what you think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this version's worse than Grixis. I'm always open to your thoughts, feedback, etc. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully this list does well on Saturday in the Popper Showcase for me. Take care. Keep storming. That's all I got. See ya. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.